Cyclists tell News 4 Tucson investigators that uh, there is a situation that they really need to look into. They've had their bikes stolen without a trace. One case captured clearly on video. Of course, Nylander looks further into the string of thefts in tonight's News 4 Tucson investigation. Tucson has a very active motorcycle community and some very active thieves. One motorcyclist showed us just how fast a theft can happen. I don't feel safe here anymore. Aaron Sill grew up in Tucson, but says he doesn't recognize his hometown due to crime. Last month, he was leaving his apartment and noticed his beloved motorcycle was gone. I come out around 3 o'clock in the morning to catch a flight, and I see that it's missing. It's not in the normal spot that I put in it. Worried and confused, he reviewed the apartment's security footage and was shocked by what he saw. The News 4 Tucson investigators obtaining this video. You see Aaron's bike right there in its parking space. Two men begin checking the bike out and simply roll it a few feet away and place it on the trailer bed of a truck parked nearby. Then take off. They were gone within three minutes. The camera's capturing a slight glimpse of one of the men's faces. The truck appears to be a dark blue color with a white bed cover and orange rims. Aaron reported the theft to Tucson police. They tell us no arrests have been made. Aaron posted his story to a Facebook group and received reports of what appears to be the same people in the same truck doing this to others. Five to ten people message me with uh, either stories or uh, video or screenshot of the same exact truck coming into their complex on all different parts of town. So there's no real, you know, place that they're staying to. They're going everywhere. The News 4 Tucson investigators spoke to some of those other victims, but they didn't want to go on camera. We asked TPD if they have been seeing an increase in motorcycle thefts. They told us they haven't. But the Arizona Department of Public Safety, which leads our area's vehicle theft task force, told us they are seeing motorcycle thefts at a much higher rate recently. Josiah Brennan is the assistant general manager at the On Any Moto dealership in Tucson. He says they've been hearing of several motorcycle thefts. Sometimes we'll have some theft or recoveries that come in that we have to do uh, insurance claims on. We showed him the video of Aaron's bike being stolen. All right, so we got a couple guys looking at it. So it looks like they do have the steering locked. He said there aren't any foolproof protections, but offered a few tips. I would tell them to do whatever they can. Uh, try and chain them up to, uh, especially if they're in apartments, try and chain them up to uh, parking garages, stuff like that. Um, try and park in well-lit areas. He showed us this rotor lock, which he says can help deter thieves and make it a little bit harder for them to actually maneuver the vehicle backwards and push it. So it would have taken a little more effort for them to, to steal that one. But Aaron isn't so sure anything could stop these determined thieves except handcuffs. It really doesn't matter where you keep your bike. It doesn't matter what you're putting on it to deter them. They're going to take it. If you know anything about those responsible for stealing Aaron's motorcycle reported to police, if you have a story you'd like us to investigate, email us at investigators at kvoa.com or call our tip line at 520-955-4444. Investigating for you, Cora Snylander, News 4 Tucson.